Hey there. Today I'm going to review the OutXE solar charger uh, for backpacking and multiple other things as you'll see from my review. So hopefully you enjoy that. So when I got back into hiking, backpacking, and all that kind of good stuff, um, I decided pretty quickly that uh, uh, since I was going to be doing a lot of filming like this, um, both on my day hikes and on my uh, backpack trips and things like that, that I was going to need a charger for uh, the camera I was using when I first started was the GoPro Hero 3. Uh, now I've switched to my actual uh, iPhone as my main camera and things like that. But I, I, I needed a charger to keep those things charged on the trail. <clears throat> and, uh, and I knew, you know, the regular buy it in the store chargers would be okay, uh, especially for day hikes and things like that. But for multiple day backpack trips you know where you're going to go out for three four nights sometimes longer um, i wanted something a little more rugged and i wanted something that um could kind of stay alive for a while maybe charge itself so i started looking into solar chargers uh, and the one that i settled on was the uh the small uh what they call the What's their name for it? The rugged 16,000 16, uh, solar power bank. And, uh, and I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I am very happy with it. I really enjoyed it. It is, it is a, quite a multitasker as far as it's not just for backpacking and things. I've, I've used it on, on multiple things. So as far as field testing goes, I have field tested this little device over the past two years. Two years. So this isn't one of those, oh, I've used it a couple of times reviews. Um, I have been using this device for two years now um, on places like the Lost Coast Trail, up in the Sierras on backpack trips, segments of the PCT in the Sierras, uh, on multiple, multiple day hikes, almost any day hike that you've seen me put stuff up um, on the channel and a few that I haven't put on the channel yet or anything like that. Um, I had the OutXE with me, uh, a bunch of road trips that I've taken. My wife has borrowed it for multiple road trips and things like that. And on several kayaking excursions that uh, we have taken either as a family or just my wife and I and stuff. Um, and I have to tell you, I have found it very, very good. The uh, OutXE, the 1600, uh, as, as they call it, has two output ports. Uh, one that gives, uh, I'm checking my notes, that's why I'm looking down here, it's not a snake or anything like that. Uh, uh, 2.4 amp uh, output and a 1 amp output, so you have uh, two there, so you can charge two things at once. Um, yes, it takes a little time, but that's okay. It is waterproof, it is very dust resistant, dirt resistant, so that's very good when you're out on the trail, you're going to be kicking up dirt and things, it's not getting messed up. It is uh, uh, shock resistant. So I am very happy about that. It's, it, it is, they call it the rugged, and it is rugged. It, it does really well. Uh, it can be beat up, you know, to a, to a certain extent and, uh, and, and still uh, keep itself going. It retailed for me. I got it uh, on a sale through Amazon. Uh, not advertising that. I'm just saying that's how I got it through, through, and it was not used. It was brand new for something like $35, which at the time was really good for compared to other solar chargers that were bigger and things like that. Uh, uh, this one uh, was was very economical, although smaller. And that's one thing I wanted to uh, mention one, I don't know if I'd call it a drawback, it is just you have to understand it when you, if you're going to go with this device, is it is not necessarily strictly a solar charger per se. What it is, is a battery bank, it is a charging battery bank that has a small solar panel on one side of it that you can um, use uh, in, in the sun and things like that. Um, you can fill this solar charger up when it's empty with the sun, but it's going to take a long, long time. So it's not necessarily 
just a solar charger. The solar panel, what it does is extend the life of the charger, basically. So if I'm going backpacking and I'm going to be out for a while and I'm going to be uh, uh, using things, or if I'm day hiking and I actually have a couple of devices hooked up as I go, like I want my camera to have a long life and not eat up the battery, I'm going to hook it to the charger as I'm walking and things. You can do things like that. Um, the solar panel on the charger will help extend the life of the charger uh, for quite a long time, quite a long time. On the Lost Coast Trail, I was using it. Uh, it gives you four little lines. I'll put the picture up there. Four little lines that illuminate that tells you how full it is and things like that. On the Lost Coast Trail, that was a, uh, a three, three night, three and a half day um, backpacking trip. I was using it to power both my um, my GoPro camera and my iPhone. I think it was four at the time. And uh, it lasted the day before the trip all the way through the last day of the trip going home. Um, it was only half empty, halfway. Uh, and I think the main reason why that is, is because even though it takes that little solar panel a while to fully charge it, it will extend the life of it. That, you know, if I was down a notch and then hung it on my backpack and hiked all day long with it in the sun, it would be back to full again. And then I'd use it to, uh, uh, to charge things that night, get up the next morning. I'd hang it by its little hook on the on the back of the backpack and, and hike the rest of the day with it in the sun and it would uh, charge a little bit more and so by the end of the day I've you know it'd probably go up another notch or so and so by the time uh, we were done with that with that uh, three to four day trip including the day before um, where we you know just kind of stayed the night in a town before we hit the trailhead and things like that uh, I didn't even get past halfway. It still had half half of its energy bank ready to go. I could have gone for another basically three or four days before it was empty. And I really think that that solar panel helps extend its life that way. Where any other regular charger, it, it would have been done by, by two or three days. I, I would have been, it would have been finished. And it would be useless to me because I'd have nowhere to plug it in to, to charge it where the Out XE lets me put it in the sun and that helps, you know, gain some energy. So. Just, just a thing there, it is not a 100% solar charger. The solar panel helps extend the life of the power bank, but it is a power bank, basically, to charge things with. Um, the one drawback that for some of you will be a drawback, for me, it's not that big of a deal because I'm not an ultralighter, but for a device that is approximately the size of a cell phone, it's right around that size, it weighs 12.6 ounces. So it is heavy, and it's heavy because of the fact that it is surrounded with waterproof, rubberized material um, that, that makes it protect it. It could be banged around. You could drop it on the ground and it, it can, you know, bang onto things and, and not be damaged and stuff like that and keeps, you know, waterproof and, and dust resistant and all that kind of stuff. And unfortunately that comes with some weight. So 12.6 ounces for some of us like me and some of the others out there probably doesn't sound like very much uh, to an ultralighter that's probably really heavy for a device that's, you know, that big. I get it. What are you going to do? Um... So I think I've covered everything I want to cover. So as far as the Out XE goes, I got to tell you, very happy with it. Um, I'm going to stick with it. I think uh, for its price, you really get it. It retails normally around fifty dollars. You can get it for a little less if you look around at some sales and and they give deals and stuff like that. You might want to check out the Out XE website because they have other devices. Uh, they have like a, a twenty thousand uh, version. They have an actual fold-out solar panel. Um, thing they have a, a large battery pack for car camping for you to power things so they have other types of devices I've just been happy with this one and at the time a couple of years ago that's kind of what they had out and uh, happy with it I give this one five uh, five hiking boots out of five because uh, for me the weight is not prohibitive I'm not worried about the 12.6 ounces and um, it is such a multitasker as far as, I mean, I don't use any other kind of power bank anymore. Uh, whether I am going 
on a road trip with the family into the Bay Area and stuff, I'll carry it. If I'm kayaking, if I'm bicycling with the Boy Scout troop, if I'm uh, day hiking, if I'm backpacking, it, I, I, I can use this for any of that. And so, five out of five for the Out XC. And that's my little review on that. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.